In this video, we're going to learn how to find when your assignments are due in Google Classroom. As a student, this will help you stay on top of all assignments. While logged in using your student account, click on the app launcher, and then click on the classroom logo. On the classroom homepage, you're going to find a separate card for each of the classes that you're enrolled in. You're going to see any assignments that are due soon. For example, this assignment here is due at 4 p.m. on Friday. Above the classes, you're going to see a link that says calendar. Click on the calendar link, and this will bring you to a weekly view of all the assignments you have due. You'll see that this assignment is due on Friday, but also you'll see that it's due at 4 p.m. You can use these arrows to toggle between weeks so you can see what's going on next week as well. If you click the down arrow on this drop down, you can select a specific class that you want to filter on and just see the assignments in that class. If you click on any of the assignments, this will bring you to that assignment. This shows you the details of the assignments, including the due date, due time. Click on the main menu in the upper left hand corner and you'll see an option for the to-do list. This to-do list shows you all of the assignments grouped by week. So here we have one assignment due this week and we have two assignments due next week. These are all of the currently assigned items. So here we have the assigned tab. The next tab over shows all of the missing assignments. These are assignments that are past due and need to be done as soon as possible. And then the done tab shows you any assignments that you've completed. So you have assigned, missing, and done. Also, this drop-down lets you filter on a class so you can see the items just in a specific class. Now using the main menu, I'm going to go to one of my classrooms. On the stream, you're going to see this upcoming section. This will highlight any assignments that are due soon. If you move over to the classwork tab, any of the items that are due have their due dates and times listed here as well. Now, if you go to the top of the classwork tab, you see a Google Calendar link. If we open this, it'll bring you to a full Google Calendar that has a lot more items than we saw on the other calendar. This is a little bit more complex, but if you looked on the left hand side, you have several different calendars that are your calendars. If you use the check boxes here, you can turn all of those off. Underneath other calendars, you'll see a separate calendar for each classroom that you're a part of. So all of the events you're looking at in this calendar is an aggregate or combination of all of the selected calendars here. So here, if I include the holidays of the United States, it'll include all of my assignments plus all the holidays of the United States. So I'm going to turn that off for now so I'm just looking at my assignments. If I click on one of the events in the calendar, this brings me up the details, but then also has a link that takes me to that assignment. The real benefit of using this calendar is that you can switch between a weekly view or a monthly view. That way you can see things at sort of a higher level. So that's a quick overview on how to use the calendar features inside of Google Classrooms. If you have any questions, put them in the comments. Thanks for watching. Let me know if I can help.